Nani Ji, Nani Ji, it's story time. What will you tell us today? Today, children, let me tell you about the story behind the great Indian festival, Diwali. A long time ago, in an ancient era called the Trieta Yug, there lived a kind and gentle king named Dashrath. He was blessed with many children from his three wives. He especially loved his eldest child and the son of Queen Kaushalya, who was his crown prince, Ram. Dashrath's wife, Kekai, influenced by one of her wicked advisors named Mantra, wanted her son, Bharat, to become the king instead of Ram. Kaikai had previously rescued Dashrath in a battle against the Asuras, and in return, she was granted two wishes by Dashrath. However, in an effort to further Bharat prospects, she requested Dashrath to declare Bharat as the crown prince instead of Ram. She asked King Dashrath to send Ram away from the kingdom to live in the forest for 14 years. Ram, who is seen as the perfect example of idealness, found out about his father's trouble. He decided to obey his father's promises and started a 14-year-old journey willingly. His wife, Sita, and brother, Lakshman, accompanied him onto an exile that would with time feature one of the greatest wars our sagas have documented, the Ramayana and the slaying of Ravan. Dashrath could not bear being separated from Ram and demised shortly after. Even Bharat could not stand the thought of overthrowing his brother from the kingdom. For the 14 years, when Ram was exiled, he served his duties, whilst maintaining and paying respects to Sri Ram's Padukas, kept symbolically on the throne of Ayodhya. Fourteen years passed, and Ram, having fought and slayed the great Ravan, came back to Ayodhya with Sita and Lakshman. The people and the royal palace of Ayodhya were overjoyed with their king coming back after a long separation. They illuminated and decorated the whole of Ayodhya with lamps and fragrances to welcome back their king and celebrate their victory. To this day, we celebrate Diwali to signify the victory of good and determined intent over evil intentions and to welcome Sri Ram into our hearts and lives. Bye-bye, kids. Subscribe to our channel Namaste Nani to hear more beautiful tales of culture.